today we are going to be doing another cooking clean with me the last time I did this video you guys really seemed to enjoy it and some of you guys even tried the recipe that I suggested which was a pesto chicken with Parmesan and orzo so today we're going to be doing another one of those videos but for today's video I'm actually going to be getting a little bit of help from HelloFresh so this video is sponsored by HelloFresh and I love delivery services like this because as you guys know I am not creative in the kitchen whatsoever so it's really convenient to have a service like HelloFresh deliver fresh ingredients to your door when you sign up you choose which day of the week you want the meals delivered to you and you can also pick and choose the meals that you, you can get so you can do your vegetarian options you can do if you want beef pork whatever kind of meals you want I was I've actually purchased HelloFresh in the past when I first moved into this house we got a coupon in the mail saying that we could try out HelloFresh so that's when I was first introduced to HelloFresh and I really like how everything's packaged how they have um, the right portions for you to be able to make certain meals that way you're not wasting products and you're not necessarily looking around for the ingredients in the grocery store which is something that I don't like to do I personally don't know how to make specific meals like unless someone gave me the recipe a long time ago that is how I stick to it so also when I go back to work as a flight attendant for those of you that didn't know I am a flight attendant I'm going to be juggling with that as well so I'm definitely grateful for a service like HelloFresh that can save me some time in the kitchen and just make things a little bit more convenient for us busy moms whether you're a stay-at-home mom or a working mom or a work-from-home mom so today we're going to be making chicken pineapple quesadillas, which is really interesting because I would have never thought of putting pineapple inside a quesadilla. So let's see what this is all about. In your box, you will get a card like this inside and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to create the meal. And then it'll also tell you the servings and how much you need. We actually got the family plan because we wanted to be able to just have leftovers for the next day and you know my son my older son is sick so he's starting to eat a little bit more he's a very picky eater so just in case he wanted to try out whatever we were eating and if not we are going to have leftovers for the next day so if you guys are interested in trying out HelloFresh, there will be a link in the description box below for you guys to be able to try out HelloFresh and save some money off your first box So once you have finished washing up and cutting up your produce, you will go ahead and move on to the poultry and cut it up in little pieces. And then you're going to cook it together in the skillet. As you can see, I did change covers for my cutting board. I got this cutting board on Amazon a while back. So I will link it in the description box below if you guys are interested in this. I absolutely love it because it's really easy to keep away any cross contamination. And it's just, it's, it's a nice way to keep everything separated. Also the recipe calls for olive oil, but I don't have olive oil. And even if I did, I do prefer to cook with avocado oil just to get those healthy fats. And as you can see here, I am adding some Himalayan pink salt to the produce. So in the skillet, I have some onions, some green peppers, and some pineapple that I mix in together. This is something that I would have never even thought about adding to my quesadilla. So that is one good thing about HelloFresh, that it helps you get out of your comfort zone. And I actually really liked how they turned out. I had never tried pineapple in a quesadilla before.
Once you have cooked up your vegetables and set it to the side, you will move on to cooking the chicken. And the box did come with a seasoning for the chicken to make it taste good. And it actually tasted really good. It gave it a little bit of a kick, but it was just perfect. So I went ahead and took away half of the chicken because my husband does not like the vegetables, I do. So I only made enough of that mix for myself so that I can eat it with the quesadilla. And I am trying to get better at cleaning up as I cook because I usually just let everything build up and then cleaning the kitchen just becomes very overwhelming. So I'm trying to clean as I go. And the good thing about that cutting board that I was telling you about is that the mats are actually dishwasher safe, which makes it really easy. So then I moved on to making the pico de gallo salad. So here I am cutting up some tomatoes. Don't make fun of me, I am not a professional chef, so I'm not really good at cutting up vegetables. So I'm sure some of you that are really good at this are probably cringing as you watch me cut up produce. So for the pico de gallo, I did squeeze some lime juice in it and instead of just lime and uh, salt, I added some of the lime chile uh, or chile lime seasoning from Trader Joe's, which if you follow me for a while, you know it's my absolute favorite seasoning ever. And then I moved on to the tortillas that came in the box and added some um, avocado spray, avocado oil spray and then added half of the cheese and added some of the meat with the vegetables and then added the rest of the cheese on top of the tortilla and then when it was time to put it in the oven I put it in the oven with only four minutes and that was it Lucas gotta eat too. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? We're gonna have our dinner and watch some Devious Maids. So I just came to Target. I decided I needed a little bit of a timeout, I guess, um, just to kind of walk around and be by myself for a little bit and just like recharge my batteries. I feel like it's really important for me to be able to do that because if I can do that maybe once a week, just something so simple as walking around Target by myself, just change into a t-shirt, some yoga pants, and some sandals to come to Target and just be comfortable and go around and maybe do things I don't normally get to do like try on clothes so maybe I'll do that my target doesn't really have a good fall section I feel like I like these but I already have some at home I don't know what I would do with them I've been wanting to get one of those, but I don't know. I like this one. Nah. I really like how all the 90s stuff is back. I've been wanting a denim skirt. I have a black one, but I want like a blue, a blue jean one. I kind of like that one, but I don't feel like I can pull those off. I'm looking for dresses, something that I could wear to church on Sundays. But I can't find anything that I like. I want something that can transition to fall. But I don't see anything. Wait. I kind of like this. But no. <laughs> see, every time I see suits like this, I feel like I miss working at a bank. I used to love 
dressing up for work. I used to love it. So I think I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take this sweater. I really like sweaters like this. I used to have one a long time ago and I lost it. So I think this is gonna be perfect for the fall. Or to wear with what I'm wearing now, just something plain. All right, I need to get some accessories for my pump. Okay, I need this right here, the valves and membranes, because you have to replace them every six weeks, and since I pump all the time, I need to replace them more often, so it's time. These are my favorite storage bags. I tried the Modelo ones and I don't like them. I have to try these. I've heard these are good too. Yeah, because they compare to the Lansano. Okay, so I might try these when I run out of those. These are the cookies I get. They're so good. But I have to start making my own because look at how much they are. They're $21.99. Okay, so once I got back from Target, I went home to clean the kitchen. I actually find this very therapeutic, so even though my husband could have helped me, I actually really like to do this at the end of the night. I feel like it just helps me decompress, and I just feel so satisfied when I go to bed knowing that I cleaned the kitchen. So let me know if you guys like to clean the kitchen as well. Like I said, I find it so therapeutic, and I don't know, I like either listening to a book, like Audible, or... I like to just watch TV or have YouTube videos or just listen to music while I'm cleaning. Even though it's still in the 90s here in Texas, I do like to pretend that we have some fall weather here. <laughs> so I was using the Mrs. Meyers apple cider all-purpose spray and it just makes my kitchen smell so good. I think that's my favorite scent from the fall collection. So for those of you that watch my cleaning videos, you know that whenever I mop, I use the O-Setter or O-Seater mop bucket. But since this is just a quick cleanup, I just use the Method Squirt and Mop Spray and this is in the Scent Mint. And I really like to use this on nights like this because I don't have to pull out the bucket and it's just a good way for me to be able to clean up. So that is it for this video. As you can see, I just did a little bit of a superficial cleaning. I didn't really do like a deep cleaning or anything. It's just... I wanted to make sure that the kitchen looks clean tomorrow morning when I wake up. It just helps me get a good start to the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you check out the link in the description box so you can save some money off your first box of HelloFresh. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And let me know if you guys want to keep seeing more uh, Cook and Clean With Me videos. I know you guys really liked the last one. So I will definitely keep making them if you guys like them. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And make sure that you're following me over on Instagram. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.